Recently, Randy Gregory had an interview with The Athletic and he said that on his 2020 season, I got robbed of a year. And he is 100% right. Alright, Cowboys Collective back again with another video. I know it's been a while being busy with the new move. As you can see, there's a completely new background behind me, just a white wall, but finally settled into the new place and ready to make content consistently again for you guys. So I appreciate you guys being patient, but I want to jump on and just talk about Randy Gregory's recent interview with The Athletic. So basically, he's on the record of saying he got robbed of a year last year, and this is him talking about favoritism within the Cowboys locker room last year amongst the coaches. So the full quote is saying, they knew I could do it, so they did what they did to keep me at bay. I had my times when I was angry. I used to talk to Peter, so Peter Schaefer is his agent, about it, and the best thing I could do was just go out there on the field with the plays they give me and make those plays worth it. I did that, but I truly felt I got robbed of a year last year. So let's jump into Randy Gregory's 2020 season. So last season he played in 10 games, obviously was suspended for the first six games of the season. And this was due to the fact that, you know, there was substance issues prior in his career and they actually couldn't test during COVID. So they had to delay the test and that's what really led to this six game suspension despite him kind of serving everything prior. So he played in 10 games, didn't get a single start. He had three and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, which actually tied him for eighth in the entire league. And he had an 80.5 grade from pro football focus. So when he's talking about favor the favoritism in the locker room, he didn't name any names but there's one name that people keep seeming to put together and keep putting out there, and that name is Alden Smith. So there's a good reason that Alden Smith is a guy that's named is because he has connections to the coaching staff, particularly D-line coach Jim Tomsula, who he played under in San Francisco to start his career when he came out and put up video game numbers. I think he had like 44 sacks in 50 games, just something absurd like that. But let's just jump into Alden Smith's 2020 season right now. So Alden Smith played in 16 games. He had all 16 starts. He had five sacks, which is just one and a half sack up from Randy Gregory. Um, and this isn't consistent on all sides. So for example, Pro Football Reference actually have both of them with four sacks. Pro Football Focus, uh, sorry, Pro Football Focus actually have both of them with four sacks and then Pro Football Reference, the way they list their stats, they actually have Old Smith with five and Randy Gregory with 3.5. So let's just go with the difference for now. Uh, he had two fumble recoveries, obviously. We saw him run that one back against Cincinnati and he only had a 66.3 grade from Pro Football Focus. So as much as we crapped on, you know, Mike with Nolan last year, I really think the favoritism was coming from the aforementioned Jim Tom Sula. He had that history with him, but the reality is, we look at these numbers, you know, one and a half more sacks. It's not that big of a productive, not even considering the fact that he played six more games than Randy Gregory, but he started and had more opportunities within the games that Randy Gregory played in. And the production difference just, it doesn't justify the fact that Randy Gregory didn't get enough snaps last year. And I have to agree with Randy Gregory in this one. You know, he was definitely robbed of a year. But the end of the day, you know, the reality is regardless of what happened last year, Randy Gregory is poised to have the best season of his career coming up. You know, it's the first time that he's gonna have a preseason and get to be, you know, he's been in OTAs, mini camp, and he's gonna be in training camp for the first time since we drafted him in 2015 as a rookie. You know, he's the one thing I gotta say about Randy Gregory is he's always stayed in phenomenal shape. You know, despite all the suspensions and the time away from the team, he's always come, showed up in shape, ready to play game shape. And you know what, now that he has the preparation and now that he's in a better space mentally, 
you know, I think he's going to dominate. And not to mention the fact that he is going into a contract year. I think everything is on the line for Randy Gregory this year. And I'm expecting him to have a completely a breakout season. And if you don't believe that I'm the only one who thinks this, this is coming from new defensive coordinator Dan Quinn said, I was surprised he didn't play more. I brought it up to Mike. He was at the top of the list for me as far as defining a role. His playing time is going to increase for sure. I think he's going to really take off. So for me, I think, you know, we see a defensive line where Demarcus Lawrence tends to get, you know, a lot of those, you know, you know, gets doubled up a lot in terms of protection. I think Randy Gregory is going to break off for double-digit sack season this year. Um, let me know what you think. How many sacks do you think Randy Gregory will have this season? Uh, let me know. Comment below. Uh, that being said, yeah, just wanted to jump on and talk about that. And then just other news out there is, you know, Des Bryant recently tweeted about um, his business, Personal Corner, and was talking he wanted to, you know, set it up because he's seeing how you know things have happened in careers of different players and he specifically brought up Marion Barber and he, he brought up the phrase along the lines that you know Marion Barber is kind of down and out and you know not doing too well these days and I just wanted to say you know I just hope we just all keep him in our thoughts you know Marion Barber for me was you know one of my favorite players actually was my favorite player was the reason I'm a Cowboys fan and you know the reason I'm doing what I do today uh, with this channel because you know he really brought me in that was kind of when I became a, a fan and he was the biggest part of that I really just loved the way that he, he played and he ran with the ball how physical he was you know he was always going to fight for that extra yard and Des Bryant kind of stated the fact that you know most people view players as just stats and moments and you know it's kind of sad that we don't really think about him you know after retirement just to see how you know retirement has gone from Marion Barber and that he's down and out and doing bad and, you know we've all seen the news that come out and I don't want to dive into that and throw any more on that but I just hope that Marion Barber finds the help he needs and I just hope we can just all keep him in our thoughts and hopefully you know we know he's he's a tough dude and he showed it on the field so let's hope he can just persevere you know this adversity that he's going through now but yeah, that's the video for today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be bringing more content. I promise. I'm, I'm set up. I got the new setup going on in the in the new place. So ready to deliver more content on a consistent basis. So thank you guys for being patient and just rocking with me during this. And Cowboys Collective out.